day everyone welcome to love us clothes and all so for today's vlog we're gonna be talking about the social issues here in the philippines so the philippines a country with a population of more than 100 million people and a relatively fast pace of population increase is plagued by poverty unemployment corruption failing economy health and human rights crisis environmental slump as well as today's pandemic with the never-ending lockdowns and forever quarantined Year 2020 was a rough year for everyone. Ever since the pandemic made its debut, the citizen and the Philippines itself took a huge blow. Social issues are all news that continues to multiply as time passes by here in the Philippines. Philippine situation is like this 1000 note I have in my hand. The social issues that I mentioned before are displayed in front side. Then let me ask you, what about the back of this 1000 note? Do you remember the details it has? Vague right, only the front are noticeable. How about the unnoticeable? The social issue that we continuously ignore and purpose is the mental health of everyone. Not only him, her, you, but all of the people residing here in the Philippines. The Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,000 islands with over 120 languages and numerous religions. The country has been occupied and colonized by many foreign powers. This colonial history has contributed to the unique Filipino culture and that culture or beliefs of Filipinos vary in almost every respect. One of the popular beliefs is that depression and anxiety are non-existent and that mental illnesses are something to be ashamed of. Mental illness has become the third most common disability in the Philippines, wherein 6 million Filipinos live with depression and anxiety. Because of this, the country has the third highest rate of mental disorders in the Western Pacific. Filipinos are generally unhappy not only because of poor economic condition, but also because of pressures arising from expectations from family and the society. Since our country is in blowings with a pandemic, what happened to those 6 million Filipinos? Are they still fighting? Tokoris from their own battles they are fighting? Or worse, some of them already stopped fighting? Will this issue continues to be unnoticed just like the back of this 1000 note? What are your thoughts? That's it! Comment down your thoughts and let's talk about it next time. See you around!